Hey everyone, it's the Cinema Dude and welcome back to my channel. And for this week's video, we are going to look at a uh, stack that I have of seven films uh, that I just wanted to uh, show off. Um, so some stuff I haven't shown on the channel yet uh, that I picked up and just want to show you. So let's hop right into it. Uh, the first two things that I have this week are uh, true, two trailer comp compilations. Try to say that three times fast. Uh, and they are the uh, Kung Fu uh, Trailers of Fury uh, sets. So this is the first one. This is the second one. Uh, both have over two hours of just martial arts uh, trailers. Uh, so it says, this one it says, uh, get ready for the most ass-kicking, face-smashing, snake-fisting trailer compilation of all. From the golden age of kung fu cinema comes this insane tsunami of masters, mobsters, fur furious uh, vengeance, and incredible fighting styles starring uh, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Lo Lei, Sammo Hung, Angela Mao, Chuck Norris, and Jimmy Wang Yu. These are the most over-the-top and rarely seen original trailers. From Hong Kong classics that include The Way of the Dragon, Death Blow, Two Champions of Shaolin, Daggers 8, Snake in Eagle's Shadow, uh, Shaolin Wooden Men, The Story of the Drunken Master, Enter the Fat Dragon, Brutal Boxer, and many more. Plus an exclusive new bonus features that deliver unique historical and cultural perspectives on the amazing world of martial arts movies. Uh, so like with that, 120 minutes of uh, that. Uh, and then on here, there is also a brief history of Kung Fu Cinema uh, with Rick Myers and Frank Jen. Uh, an audio commentary with Rick Myers, Michael Wirth. Um, and then there is The Way of the Cube, a featurette on the discovery of the original 35mm tra uh, trailers. Uh, so that is on this one. And then this one um, has uh, trailers that include Angela Mao, Bo Young, Don uh, Wong, uh, Chang Ye, Bruce Lai, Lo Lei, and even Chuck Norris again, um, including uh, trailers for Yellow Face Tiger, Bruce and the Iron uh, Finger, Revenge of the Shaolin Kid, Avenging Boxer, uh, Snuff Bottle Connection, Hell's Wind Staff, Thundering Mantis, The Legendary Strike, Kung Fu Killers, uh, Crazy Horse, and Intelligent Monkey, and Shaolin Invincible Sticks. Uh, and then again, there is another audio commentary with Rick Myers on there. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And this one's 134 minutes. So a little uh, longer than this one. So cool uh, martial arts uh, trailer compilations. Uh, then we go into a documentary, which is a really good one. Um, Severin with their documentaries really do a great job. And this is All the, all the Colors of Jalo. So this is their... Uh, documentary about the uh, Jalo films uh, from the beginnings of it through you know uh, where it led and uh, just kind of everything about it so uh, it says this three disc collection featuring over five and a half hours of classic trailers plus bonus CD of legendary Jalo themes so what you get in this package is not only the trailers, you get a documentary, All the Colors of Jalo, uh, which is a feature-length documentary. Uh, like you said, Jalo-thon, which is over four hours of trailers. Uh, the Jalo Frames, interview with John Martin, editor of the Jalo Pages. Uh, an audio commentary with Kat Ellinger, uh, which is really cool. Um, and she authored the book, All the Colors of Sergio Martino. Uh, disc two, you get a, a criminal. Uh, it's a 91 minute trailer compilation of uh, crimi films. Uh, so the crimi films again are like the German uh, kind of detective w stories with a little hint of Jalo in it um, that mostly deal with the Edgar uh, Wallace uh, novels and writings. Um, and then the case of Kremi, an interview with film historian uh, Marcus uh, Stiglegger. And then uh, disc three is the strange sounds of the bloodstained films. Uh, 
it is a compilation of different uh, Jalo themes. Uh, so on here it does say too, Jalo is yellow for, uh, or excuse me, Jalo is Italian for yellow. The color of the pulp novels that inspire one of the most intense, extreme, and influential genres in movie history. And this unprecedented collection experienced the full chronological evolution of Jalo with more than a hundred rare and classic trailers uh, from such masters as Mario Bava, Dario Argento, Lucio Fulci, Sergio Martino, Antonio Margariti, uh, Umberto Lenzi, and many more. Uh, then slip, slip back, slip on the black leather gloves and set the mood with a bonus CD of legendary uh, soundtrack uh, music. Uh, so again, very cool to have this kind of documentary and set in the collection. Uh, and then from one Italian thing to another Italian thing, uh, what do you get when you mix uh, post-apocalyptic Mad Max movies, Indiana Jones, and Italian rip-off cinema? You get Raiders of Atlantis. Uh, so this is the uh, 1983 film uh, that is Roger Franklin directs, uh, but definitely has the Italian kind of flavor to it. Um, and so this is the first uh, time it's been on Blu-ray and I believe had its own like DVD release too because for a while this is very hard to uh, get. Um, and it has Roger Franklin, but it is actually uh, Ruggiero Diodato uh, did this. And, uh, but going by the uh, Roger Franklin uh, name for this. So uh, it says 80s exploitation uh, maestro Ruggiero Diodato fuses high concept science fiction with lowbrow gore hound horror and its utterly unhinged cine spectacle that must be seen to believe. When a pair of Miami uh, mercenaries, Christopher Conley uh, from Strike Commando and Tony King from Cannibal Hall, uh, Apocalypse, excuse me, rescue a team of scientists investigating the lost city of Atlantis. They instead uncover a post-apocalyptic uh, nightmare of punk rock martyrs, uh, exploding stuntmen, and synth uh, disco carnage. Uh, and then uh, Michelle Suave also star in this uh, Italian film, Fanatic's Wet Dream. Uh, and then on here, there is uh, an interview with Ruggiero Diodato calling um, Ruggiero and the Fate of Atlantis, Quest for Atlantis, uh, interview with cinematographer Roberto Diatori, uh, Piazzoli, and then a audio commentary with Vinegar Syndrome's Brad Henderson and actor uh, Tony King, and then a trailer as well. So yes, if you like your uh, 80s knockoff, Indiana Jones, Italian cinema stuff, uh, Raiders of Atlantis is for you. Uh, then we have here a um, early 80s, uh, this is from 81, uh, regional horror um, obscure slasher film. Uh, and this is the worldwide Blu-ray premiere of this. And uh, this is Day of Judgment. Um, yeah, this was a kind of a cool little one, um, that just out of the blue looked very interesting, um, and how it's, the setting it is, and again, kind of being that obscure slasher, uh, definitely thought this would be kind of cool when it picked up. So, from Earl Ownsby Studios, the South's biggest producer distributor of 70s and 80s regional horror and exploitation hits, comes what uh, may be the most obscure and bizarre slasher movie of the entire godless genre. In the 1930s, small town rife with lust, corruption, and sin, a mysterious figure wields a scythe, arrives to cut an unholy swath of murder, madness, and moralizing that may lead straight to hell. Uh, William T. Hicks, uh, Brownlee Davis, Jerry Rushing, and Harris uh, Bloodworth star in this early 80s Adi we're seeing as something very different. Um, and then it's scanned, uh, now scanned in 2K from the IP from the f uh, first time ever. Uh, and the special features on here is The Atheist Sins, interview with author of Nightmare USA, Stephen Thrower, 
which that's really cool. And then it tells of judgment interview with uh, filmmaker Worth Keeter and writer Tom uh, McEnroy. Um, and that is Day of a Day of Judgment. So kind of cool, a little kind of obscure eighties film. Uh, and now we get into the uh, last three, uh, kind of. Uh, two definitely fit into this genre. One is a little out of it, uh, kind of animal attack movies. Uh, and so we have, first up, uh, Day of the Animals. Uh, and this is a William uh, Gridler film uh, that stars Christopher George. Leslie Nielsen is in this one as well. Uh, so this is the um, slipcover, the back of it. And then this is the cool poster out here. And then it says, A batch of crazy groundbreaker uh, from the AV Club. A disturbing sense of 70s pessimism and perhaps his greatest role, Leslie Nielsen, as the world's biggest a-hole. Uh, the infamous follow-up to Grizzly remastered in all new special features. Uh, just when he thought it was safe to go back in the wilderness, director William Gridler and producer Edward uh, Montero uh, sought to top their surprise blockbuster grizzly with an even bigger budget, larger cast, and even more nature gone berserk carnage. When a hole in the earth's ozone layer, layer triggers bloodthirsty madness throughout the animal kingdom, all mankind, particularly a, a group of tourists on an overnight hike, will become their prey. Uh, Christopher George, Linda Day George, uh, Richard Jekyll, uh, Andrew Stevens and Leslie Nielsen and now his in his now legendary pre airplane performance is worth the price of admission alone. Uh, now featuring a 2K scan from the inner negative and howling with special features produced exclusively for this edition. Um, so on here there is uh, Stephen Thrower. Uh, talks about the career of Edward L. Montero, uh, Nature Boy, an interview with actor Bobby Porter, Against Nature, an interview with Andrew Stevens, uh, Monty Cox Unleashed, an interview with animal wrangler Monty Cox, uh, Linda and the Animals, an interview with Linda Day George, uh, Something Was Out There, Day of the Animals, 30 Years Later, Archive Making of Day of the Animals featurette, an audio commentary with uh, Linda Day George, John Cedar, moderated by Evil Dead 2 co-writer Scott Spingle. Uh, and then there's an audio commentary with Lee Gamblin, uh, author of Massacred by Mother Nature, exploring the natural horror film. Uh, there is an alternate title sequence uh, from something out there, uh, radio spots, TV spots, and the trailer. So yeah, uh, really cool little addition of this. And, uh, yeah, and then that's just like, kind of the same stuff as there. Uh, but yeah, just like, uh, they did a really awesome job with the, uh, Grizzly release. This also looks like a phenomenal release as well. And then actually, let me just go back to, if there's anything different with, now Day Judgment is the same kind of cover for that. Raiders of the Lantis, same thing. Uh, all the colors are dark, have the two, actually the all, plus the uh, CDs first, and then the two discs, and then what the um, CD uh, soundtrack is, and let's see, uh, anything on here. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, there's about 13, or I'm sorry, 20 songs on that uh, disc as well. And I think these are just, yeah, and it's the same for these ones as well. All right, and then jumping uh, into, so we have the When Nature Runs Amok stuff with uh, Day of the Animals. Then we go over to Italy uh, with a two-pack of Killer Crocodile and Killer Crocodile 2. So these are, uh, I want to say late 80s. Yeah, 89. And I want to say that one's like 90. Let's say 
It doesn't say, but I definitely think they're like uh, 89 and then like 91 or, or so. Uh, so yeah, so here's the slip cover. So this one, this one um, is the two pack one that gives you both films. Um, and this one is a limited release of this as well. Cause after I think they'll just have the killer crocodile. So uh, on Blu-ray in the first time ever, in America, uh, more than a decade after uh, the Spielberg blockbuster, a dream team of shock maestros, including producer turned director uh, for Fabrizio D. Uh, Iglesias, uh, who did uh, Dr. Butcher MD, Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals, uh, screenwriter Dardano Sirachi, uh, Bay of Blood and Demons, and then uh, Gore Guru Giannetti D. Uh, Rossi, Zombie and the Beyond. Uh, created one of the most ridiculously entertaining Jaws ripoffs in Italian sleeves history. When a humongous crocodile begins chomping on a tropical island community, a group of idealistic young environmentalists will uh, clash with a crusty redneck hunter to destroy the monster reptile spawned by toxic waste. Uh, Richard Anthony uh, Kerna, Sherry Rose, and Eno Germani, and uh, Hollywood legend Van Johnson star in this croc exploitation classic now scanned in 2k from its original negative uh and then um in the jaws of the crocodile uh you have an interview with the rossi uh the fierce crocodile hunter uh pietro Giunardi uh has that interview uh of crocodiles and men interview with actor richard anthony crana and then It Crawls, it's an interview with um, cinematographer Del Zeppo. And then there is a trailer on here. And then, like you said, too, you also get the uh, bonus uh, disc of uh, Killer Crocodile, too. So, very cool. Another Nature Runs Amok uh, film. Uh, and those ones to add to the collection as well. And then finally, probably the best uh, Bigfoot movie uh, ever made. Uh, and probably one of the most bizarre too, because it mixes Bigfoot plus slashers. Uh, and that is their release of Night of the Demon. Uh, so here's the cool slip cover. Actually, this compared to these, you know, these are kind of just standard slip covers that you would see. Um, with the, kind of like the Kino releases, kind of that feel to it. Um, but the this one ha definitely has that nice, um, almost vinegar syndrome kind of feel, kind of sturdiness and stuff to it. So, uh, like I said, front, back. Here is uh, the front. Uh, and it says, the Sasquatch Splatter Masterwork restored uncut for the first time ever. Uh, and this is from 1983. And this is a two-disc uh, edition of this. Amidst the gush of early 80s low budgets, backwoods horror, only one lost classic brought together softcore sex and uh, hardcore violence, satanic sex cults, and a uh, limb-tearing, gut-slinging, dick-ripping beast for the best and bloodiest Bigfoot movie ever made. Uh, when a group of anthropological students uh, heads deep into the forest to investigate a series of Sasquatch attacks. They'll discover an immortal brain blast of crazy hermits, mutilated Girl Scouts, interspecies calculation, and one of the goriest final scenes in the whole history of splatter flicks. Uh, producer, co-writer Jim L. Ball, and director James C. Weston uh, deliver an anti-masterpiece that moves like a bullet, like un anything you've never ever seen before. Now scanned in 2K from a recently discovered 35 millimeter answer print with over five and a half hours of special features on two discs. So they went all out for this release. Um, so on here, special features, disc one. I hear my cat. Hey, Ali, I'm doing a video. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Uh, disc one is just a little green kid out of Waco, Texas. Excuse me. Interview with producer Jim L. Ball. 
Uh, the Demon Maybe duet, an interview with James C. Weston. Uh, Eye of the Demon, interview with cinematographer John Quick. Uh, Fraternity of Horror, previously unreleased 1964 feature, produced by uh, Ball and shot by John Quick. So you get another movie on here. And then a, a trailer for uh, Night of the Demon. Uh, you get, a, on disc two, you get Cryptid Currency, Transgression, Aggression in Bigfoot Cinema, a video essay by David Coleman, author of the Bigfoot filmography, Tales from the Cryptid, interview with Stephen uh, R. Bissett, um, co-rock author of Cryptid Cinema, uh, Deconstructed, Deconstructed Patty, an interview with William Munns, author of When Roger Met Patty, Mondo Bigfoot, uh, interview with Lyle Blackburn, author of Boggy Creek Casebook, uh, Ban the Sadist Videos, Ban the Sadist Videos Part 2, uh, and My Nasty Memories, an interview with Ban the Sadist Video director David Gregory. So they went all out for this uh, release on this. So I would uh, highly, if you like Bigfoot movies or you like crazy 80s, pseudo slashers definitely i recommend uh this one but all the releases uh this month kind of have a flavor for any money if you like you said if you're into like bigfoot cinema and you know crazy slashers get this if you want to know more about uh the giallo genre definitely rec check this one out definitely recommend those ones uh like you said you want your animal attacks movies check these ones out uh if you want to have like i like these ones just in for the sense of you know, if you're ever doing a uh, movie night or something like that with your friends and want to put something on prior to that, these trailer compilations are always awesome to throw in. Have running while everybody's getting there, everybody's getting settled in, and then you go right into uh, the movies and stuff. So uh, definitely check those out. And, and I know a lot of their DVDs, too, on Severn have been going away, and these were like $7 or something like that. So it was kind of uh, nice and cheap on those ones. And then, uh, if you want a obscure slasher, check this one out. And then, if you want some Italian ripoffs, Raiders of Atlantis there. So, uh, recommend these all. I've got, a, like I said, a flavor for anything. So, definitely check these several releases out. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope everyone's having a great week. Uh, next week, uh, it's either going to be the. Um, vinegar syndrome stuff or uh if it comes i'm going to do a uh, review of the a new gold ninja video release of uh the iron uh, dragon strikes back so looking forward to uh that review as well so uh everybody have a great week uh comment below if you picked up any of these before if you have uh seven releases i should check out uh check out those so uh, everybody have a great week and remember be kind and rewind See everybody later.